Hi, welcome back to the channel. My name's Dave Smith, Gutenberg core team member and full-time WordPress contributor. Now, many of you will have seen that WordPress 6.0 was successfully released for download on Wednesday. It brought with it a number of new and exciting features, all of which I've covered previously on this channel. But in this video, I'm gonna be looking at what comes next. I've dived into GitHub and reviewed the roadmap to bring you my top five areas where Gutenberg contributors will be focusing their efforts in the WordPress 6.1 cycle. So if you're interested in what's coming to a block editor near you in the future, then stick around as we review what's next for Gutenberg in WordPress 6.1. First up, we have site editing and templates. One of the key things here is to differentiate between global concepts such as styles, navigation and templates and post-specific content that you might have on an individual page. One such exploration that's already underway is the ability to edit your navigation from the sidebar of the site editor as opposed to having to use the navigation block itself. This is very powerful as it allows you to manage data separately from presentation. Expanding the ability to create and manage templates is also going to be important. In this example, we can see that it's be possible to create a category specific template directly from the editor itself. The interface will also see a number of upgrades such as this mosaic view for theme templates. Next up on our roadmap, we have an increased emphasis on patterns. Patterns are becoming an ever more important part of site editing and therefore there are a number of improvements planned in this area. One area being explored is using patterns as sections. In this early prototype, we can get a sneak peek at a new zoomed out editing mode, which focuses more on the placement of patterns within the post as opposed to working with low level blocks. In a similar vein, pattern previews may soon be exposed in a modal overlay. This will provide a more intuitive way to browse patterns whilst also enabling the pattern selection UI to be consistent regardless of which block is being inserted. A quick reminder for me that if you're enjoying this video and you found it useful, please do hit that like button and be sure to subscribe to the channel for more WordPress related content. The third item on the Gutenberg roadmap is the style system and improved design controls. The design tools project encompasses all tools relating to the appearance of blocks, from colors, typography and positioning to filters and cropping. This pairs neatly with the ongoing work on the global styles project which promises improvements across the board. A key focus will be responsive and intrinsic web design. One area currently in development is the ability to create a fluid typography system which automatically scales and adapts based on the screen size, growing larger as the viewport increases or smaller as it decreases. A common issue with Gutenberg is the inability to style interactivity states such as hover and focus without custom CSS. This early prototype shows how contributors are looking to make this feature a part of the standard design toolkit. Blocks occupy a prominent position on the roadmap with improvements planned for both the navigation and comments blocks. As one of the project's most complex blocks, the navigation block has a number of issues that contributors are looking to address. These include improved integration with global styles and theme JSON, utilizing different menus on different screen sizes, and of course the work we've already seen to make menus editable outside of the block itself. UX refinements also continue to be an area of focus, as in this PR, which aims to improve toolpath positioning when creating links. On the comments side, contributors are starting to discuss how the comments form UI can be converted into individual blocks. This is a complex project, and one which will, like the navigation block, have knock-on benefits for the entire block ecosystem. And the last item on our roadmap is block theming improvements, which also includes theme switching workflows. One thing theme builders have been requesting for some time is the ability for edits to templates made in the site editor to be automatically persisted to the file system. A prototype has been explored to enable this functionality and it's looking promising, but it's worth noting that there's a good chance some of this functionality will not end up in Gutenberg core, but instead, will be made available via an official theme building plugin. 
Alongside work on theme building, contributors will also be focusing on improving the flows associated with switching themes. Amongst other things, items to be explored include preserving navigation menu locations when switching themes and removing the tight coupling of templates and template parts to themes. And that's it. My take on the Gutenberg roadmap for WordPress 6.1 and beyond. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to hit that like button. And of course, consider subscribing to the channel for more Gutenberg and WordPress features. I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.